These are the perfect tool for capturing POV video, but they're also very useful for your family life, to capture things when you're out and about with your kids, to have real conversations with people and be able to capture them and actually have true eye contact. I've been using them since they came out for a huge amount of different things. I'm going to show you a ton of example video and give you my real world feedback, long term review, I guess, on what it's like to actually use these for life. I think these are a perfect example of a product that has been around for a while, but we finally reached a point where the world is ready for it. We've had the Snapchat glasses, we've had the Google Glass before, Ray-Ban Stories, which was the prior version of these with awful quality. But now these are entirely usable in terms of social media content. If you wanna shoot videos, like POV style, take photos. The integration with using them on your phone is perfect. And they're also a pretty solid pair of earphones when you don't have your AirPods or if you forget your AirPods. This is one of those products where if you show these to people and they're very unaware of them and the fact that there's a camera in there and the headphones I'd say are more of a wow factor for people than anything else. You put them on someone, you show them the features and they are genuinely impressed and like, wow, like I did not know this was a thing. We don't get those products often and this is one of those. If you're going on vacation, you're bringing a set of sunglasses with you anywhere. And if you go in somewhere where there's water, like a pool or the ocean, you don't really want to have your AirPods in all the time because you might want to pop them out, pop them back in again. Then you have to carry something extra. You're already bringing a set of sunglasses with you. So if you're just Dying floating for. around in the pool, you can wear sunglasses, capture video, take photos, and listen to music and control the music just with your sunglasses. That is a very useful thing and I did not appreciate it until I actually was in Mexico using them exactly like that. All while still having the ambient sound. Mm -hmm. So if you need to talk to your significant other at the same time or whatever, like listen to the bartender come up and ask thank you. you. Thank you. I'm good, thank That's you. Right. Gracias. <laughs> thank you. You can do that. You don't have to pop out the AirPods. If you're an audiophile, someone that loves the sound and the quality of sound, you're not gonna be impressed by these, but that's not the person that I don't think is gonna be buying these. These are a convenience thing, where convenience meets practicality in the real world. They're tiny little holes that just above your ears. This is as loud as it goes. And if we swap to the microphone here, you'll hear what everyone else is likely to hear. But if you turn it down, I can still hear everything clearly so I can listen to podcasts and still have good sound around me. You can hear it here, but if we swap to this mic, you can't really hear it. So if you want to be someone that is in a conversation with someone else and listening to a podcast, you can do that. Something else to think about is you can take phone calls on these as well, and you can talk to people. People are very used to now people having AirPods in their ears and walking down the street. If you don't have AirPods in your ears and people don't know what these are, you're going to be walking down the street talking and kind of look like you're just talking to yourself. If you're recording POV video for something, and let's say you're talking to someone, think about the fact that you're actually having a true POV angle. You are looking directly into their eyes when you're recording them. We haven't really had something like that before with the quality that we have with the Ray-Ban Metas. Previously, you'd have an Insta360 Go, which would be on your chest, or you'd have a GoPro, which would be on your head but you're always having some form of an angle looking down, looking up from the side. It's never been a direct eye contact because of the way the cameras are in these. When you're looking at someone talking to them, you're getting an actual direct POV look. This is a really great way to capture moments with your kids because if you're outside or if you get the transitions, which we'll talk about in a bit, you have glasses on your face. You can just tap the button and hang out with them. You don't need to have a camera or a phone pointed in their face, which makes them very aware of the fact that they're already being filmed, you just can be in the moment with them and actually capture moments and memories very quickly, very easily. It's like the only way that truly allows you to be fully present. And because it is, as I already said, the actual real eye contact POV angle, it's just much more natural and it feels much better to look back on. Straight when you take them out of the case and out of the box, if you tap the one button on the side, that will default to a photo. I've changed mine to video. You can do that in the settings. To transfer the photos and the video from these directly to your phone, you actually don't need to have them out and working. You can have them in the case, closed up and ready to go. You load the MetaView app, you connect to the Wi-Fi that these glasses have built into them and you can just download things. Now you do have to have the app open on your phone to do this. And I will say if you have a ton of video on there, which I did after we went on the helicopter trip, it's gonna take a little while to transfer and uh, mine do overheat. The battery definitely isn't the best on these, but I won't ever say it's been an issue for me. I actually recorded 38 clips on that flight varying lengths. My battery by the end was like 68%, but by the time I had transferred all those clips to my phone and it actually overheat and I had to let it cool down before I could continue to transfer them, it was down to 30%. 
so it burns through battery when you're transferring things. But that's not a huge deal, because after that, put them back in the case, and then they charge themselves again. They're starting to die, just put them in here for a few minutes, and you'll get some juice back. Don't forget that these are actual sunglasses as well. Now, they're not the highest quality sunglasses in the world by any means. They definitely feel like a cheap knockoff of Ray-Bans, but they're still functional Ray-Ban sunglasses. And even the case is the same style as what you get when you buy a regular set of Ray-Bans. Just looks like it's designed for the future, which it kind of is. USB-C port on the bottom and you will very rarely have to charge this unless you're using these like crazy. Now, I will say that the video is not true vertical, it's not nine by 16, so it doesn't fill your vertical frame. You will have to zoom in a little bit, which can really make the quality suffer a little bit depending on the situations that you're in. So be aware of that. It's not something you can just put on your phone and upload. You're gonna have to zoom in a little bit when you if you post this as a reel or something like that. The dynamic range of these, which is where you're able to see, let's say you're in a really sunny environment, but you're also in a helicopter and it's a little bit darker in there and there's some shade. So dynamic range is being able to see a lot in the light stuff and a lot in the dark stuff at the same time. With these, it's not the best. It has to do with the sensor size and a bunch of other things. If you're in a darker environment, you might notice quality being a bit more of an issue. But if you have a little bit of a bright light coming in as well, again, you're gonna see the quality suffer. Best situation to use these is a fully overcast day where everything is nicely diffused with light. Something to note with POV content, if you're filming it, you don't want to have it right in the middle because the camera is actually just here for capturing that. So you actually want to offset it to the left a little bit. That way it looks like it's more in the middle. It might take you a little while to figure that out, but once you have it, you just automatically do it. So to start with, I was holding it up here. Now it's just, you hold it here. You just get used to it. And these come in two different styles and they also come in a variety of different lenses. And the most expensive ones that you can buy are the transitions. Transitions, if you're not aware, they're essentially clear. They just look like regular glasses. But when you have UV, so sunlight, they'll actually dim to become regular sunglasses, but they don't dim to the same amount that these do. I would say barely even half to what these do. I wanted to try the transitions because I realized after buying these ones, the potential that these had to shoot POV style content which is a lot of what I do for inside as well as outside. Now they work very, very well for that, but because they don't transition as much as I thought they would, I ultimately ended up returning them. Also because they do not suit me well and I just look like Clark Kent in all this photo and video that people have when we're in New York City. If you're thinking about doing that, I'm not gonna say don't, maybe buy from somewhere you can easily return them in case they don't suit you. I think the reason that they don't suit a lot of people, including myself, is because the rims are very thick to house the tech. So they're practical and useful for that, but they might not suit you. 